guess what? You are the reason I started this channel. Did you know that? Hi. Hi, I'm Gina. Here at Hope & Cope, we talk about essential skills we need to have our best life possible in spite of painful and sometimes even tragic events and situations in our life. I had watched so many people go through such horrible life situations and so many of them did not come out with their own integrity intact. And I watched this unfold and I wanted to do something to help people that were going through tragic situations find their bearing and have the instruction and encouragement to maintain their own personal integrity in spite of the situations that they were finding themselves in. I am well aware that many times when a person goes through an addiction or some other unfortunate life choice or path, many times it does affect the family so severely and then the family and the friends, the loved ones, all begin to make their own series of personal mistakes because of the way they're reacting unfortunately to someone else's life. Once my husband was going through his addiction, I realized how difficult it was to make reasonable, rational choices that were, were beneficial for myself and my children and my future. I realized how much of a challenge it was to not fall victim to those base emotions that really rose up and caused me to want to do bad things, made me, caused me to want to make awful decisions and say cruel things. I know what that was like. And I was like, whew, oh my goodness. I see now why so many people fall under the weight of someone else's tragic life situation. It's not easy. It is not easy. Especially if you feel like it's at you, if you feel like it's hurting you deliberately, it's very easy to want to take revenge. It's very easy to want to lash back out. But sometimes, for one, we then hurt our own self, we hurt our own integrity, we cause things to get worse, and we also end up hurting other people, other innocent people. So we are being an innocent victim of someone else, then we make bad choices because of someone else, and we end up hurting other innocent people, maybe our children, our grandchildren, our friends, our family, our church friends, other people that they didn't do anything to to us, but now we're making selfish, self-centered, prideful, arrogant, vengeful, hurtful, painful decisions, and now we ourselves are responsible for hurting other innocent people. If you stay with me to the end and hear me out, I will share with you one of the most embarrassing situations that I found myself in in the early years during my husband's addiction. So as I said, I had been hurt by someone that had been hurt by someone. And I saw this, I observed this, and I really didn't want to make those same mistakes, but it was just so easy to find myself having all of those same feelings and having all of those same struggles. But I was so determined to try. I tried. I did not do it perfectly. I don't want you to hear that I didn't make any mistakes and that I didn't fall victim to my base self and that I didn't take revenge or say mean things. I don't want you to hear that. But what I want you to hear is that I managed to survive without crumbling and causing a lot of pain to other people. In the beginning of my husband's addiction, which took me quite by surprise, I was so instantly wounded and distraught it was hard to even feel like I was going to recover. I remember telling my husband early on that it truly felt like he was trying to kill me. That's how horrible the pain was. That's how grotesque the suffering was. I felt like it was deliberate and that he was trying to kill me. Well, I got into a program of recovery called Al-Anon, which I will share a link in the description box. But once I realized that I was recovering, well, that I was going to survive, that I wasn't, he wasn't going to kill me, I began to want to share my story with other people. I wanted to share my ability to stay in those guidelines, stay in those bumpers, stay in those guardrails, and not go off the cliff, the character cliff, not fall off the character cliff. And I wanted to share with other people so that when, when life comes at you hard and you are hurt, especially by someone else, 
that you won't then make some of the same simple, easy to make mistakes that I was tempted to make, that I did make some of them, and that I saw other people make, and then there's more of a fallout from the additional mistakes made in that situation. I know that addiction, divorce, unfaithfulness, and other unhealthy lifestyle choices have been around from the beginning of time, but it still seemed like the church is ill-equipped to help the family that's wounded by people that take these courses in their life. And I had people that loved me and I had people that supported me, but I didn't have anybody that had been through anything similar to what I was going through and come out the other side with their integrity intact and in a healthy mindset. So once I did find my way through and realize I was going to manage this, I was going to figure this out and I was going to be able to survive, I began to want to help other people. And I felt like the very best way I could do that would be through making these videos and sharing just little bitty bits of advice at a time that would hopefully encourage people to stay the course, control their behaviors, and make right choices that were based in prayer and what was best for them and not be reactionary to the other person and their bad decisions. Being a person of Christian faith, I know the devil's plans. His plan is to kill, steal, and destroy. And it is to take down as many people in a process as he can. So it's never just his intention to destroy a marriage. It's his intention to destroy the marriage, the relationships with other people, the children, the in-laws, the whole kit and caboodle. If he can, he wants to destroy as many lives at one time as he possibly can. I was so determined to not allow this to be the case in my life that I couldn't control what my husband was doing, but I could try to make right decisions for myself that were going to give my children an anchor, a sense of security and stability with their mother, and maintain as many of my other relationships in a proper manner as I could. So I did not want to participate with the enemy to destroy more and more lives in, uh, with my husband's addiction. So as painful as it is to relive some of those very, very tragic situations in my past with my husband and his addiction, I do it because I really want someone else out there, you, dear friend, to know that you have someone that can relate and someone that has been basically to hell and back and has figured out how to keep their sanity, keep their serenity, and keep their dignity. And I, it is worth it to me to share these stories and to share these insights if I can help you to muddle through the tragedy of someone else's lifestyle that is really causing you a lot of distress, a lot of pain, a lot of instability and insecurity. I want you to know that I'm here for you and I want to help you with my story. In Al-Anon, they have a line that they say, once we begin to recover, there, that begins to help the family situation to improve as well. And I recently listened to a talk by Jordan Peterson and he said something like, there is no situation too awful that we can't make worse by our own decisions. And I just really wanted to help you to not fall into that awful trap. I want you to be the person that because of your right decisions, you're managing to help other people to do better in the situation. So your children and your grandchildren, your family and your coworkers and whatever situation you find yourself in, that because you're making right decisions, that positions them better and better to have a foundation and be able to make better and healthier decisions for themselves. So back to my shameful, embarrassing situation. I was on the phone with a friend and I was telling her about something that I wanted to do that would have been terrible. It would have been tragic. It would have probably hurt a lot of people besides just my husband. And of course she was advising me to not make that choice. And I told her, I was like, I want to though, because I want revenge. I want revenge so bad. I want to hurt him so bad. I want to make him cry and have pain like I have had. Isn't that awful? 
I mean, I know I feel like it's just human and I know I'm not above it. And if I hadn't had a wise counselor talking me down off a cliff, I don't know what I would have done because I had such a desire for revenge and to cause the same pain that I was being dealt. So I know, I know how hard it is to not make bad decisions. And I know how hard it is to make right decisions when there doesn't seem to be any benefit from that. Benefit meaning revenge or getting to get back at that other person. But the thing about it is we get to come out on the other side with our sanity intact and with our integrity intact and without having to have that shame of those terrible decisions or the guilt, even if no one knows the guilt and the hidden secrets that we carry because we didn't make right choices. So it's so much better to just make the right choice in the moment than to ha and, and not get the fun or the ability to pay that person back for their decisions. They feel like decisions. They feel like they're deliberate and they're at us. That's really not true. When someone's in a an addiction, it's probably the furthest thing from the truth that it's really at us. But it certainly feels that way. And in those early years when I was not in recovery, I did not realize that it was not at me, that he was not trying to betray me. He was struggling in his own mind and had no ability to control himself, sadly. So don't let someone else, no matter how cruel they are, no matter how deliberate it feels like it is, don't let someone else tell you or decide for you how you're going to behave. If you are a person of integrity, if you are a person of high morals, if you are a person that your children and grandchildren and your friends and your family can look to for encouragement and inspiration, don't let anybody steal that from you. That's a treasure. That is a straight up treasure. Don't take it for granted and certainly don't throw it away just because someone else has made that awful mistake. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. I have linked another video that I think you'll also find helpful. But before you go, if you want, check out the description box where you'll find my contact information, a Bible verse, and a Christian song. As always, I'm praying for you. And if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel and share this with a friend. I try to put out new content every Sunday. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.